Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, House Lüning, this is my son Ben, and today we have a look at the new Glendonach Portwood. Mm -hmm. Glendronach is such a wonderful whiskey distillery. I think we've been together there, I've been there once, and you've been there before, and... Yep, yeah. I was there in 1994, uh, just a few months before the intermediate closing of the distillery, where they still had their malting floors. There's a wonderful picture in our whiskey database on whiskey.com. Have a look at that. And well, in the meantime, they were closed, they were reopened, they were sold, they were re-resold, and a lot has been going on. And the whiskey, well, kept always the same since 1826. Yeah. More or less. More or less the same, <laughs> but the distillery is pretty much the same from back in the days, but you can always have variations with the maturation, and, and that's what I love about the whiskey, that it changes a little bit. Yeah, the Glendrona Portwood is a, a finished portwood, uh, single malt in portwood casks, and what I've read here on the back of the tube is that uh, they sourced the casks from the valley of the Douro in Portugal, and in former times, they shipped the port wine over the River Duro up just to Scotland, uh, where they uh, sold it uh, to the well to the gentry, Scotland's gentry. Yeah, so there's a long connection between Portugal and the Duro and Scotland. Glendronach means the Valley of the Brambles. Glen. Valley of the Brambles. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. well, I'm really interested. What is the difference between the Bramble and the Blackberry? Write it down <laughs> in the comments below because yeah. in Germany there's only one word for that. <laughs> yeah. So it's 46% ABV uh, without color and it's priced in the 60s, I think. That's quite a price for a uh, whiskey without an age statement. Mm -hmm. But this whiskey is extremely directly <laughs> in, uh, in the range of the whiskies I like. Mm -hmm. So uncolored, uh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Where is a white in the back here? Yeah. I think it will be a beautiful bottle. They um, do have a little bit of a problem with their age statements because of that gap where they've been closed. Uh -huh. I think they had a problem with the, did they have a 16 year old or something like that? 15 year old. 15 they had. and 18. They've had a 15 and 18 and they had trouble with the 15 and now the trouble I think is just about or is already started with the 18 but it's less of a trouble because it's not such a high volume bottling. Yeah, I think the 18 is just over or, or close to over. Uh, so it's very... It's, it's very at the point of being a, a problem yeah. right now, mm -hmm. but it, they said the 18 will not be such a problem as the 15 happen, and you yeah. will not feel the problem with the 21 yeah, when it comes to it. Because they are uh, quite expensive, so the demand for the whiskies is quite low, so the spanning the gap is, is easier. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful in the glass. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Light al alcoholic note. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the first today, and I think also the last today. Mm -hmm. uh, so, on top of that, is definitely the port wine, fruity brambles, <laughs> <laughs> plums, and a lighter note like sherry. Not sherry, but sherry. The, the cherries. The cherries, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And a light spicy note. Might not be the alcohol, but the spicy note. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's uh, very beautifully fruity with a very, very straightforward berries character. So yeah, bramble or blackberry. And it, it feels a little bit like a like a jam, but without the tons of sugar in the jam. So it's a, yeah, a, a mixture of, uh, of red and black fruits combined with a bit of a, I don't know, wood flavor. 
oakiness. Yeah, maybe a bit of a bit of a port wine note as well. Or yeah. Officially, so. it's said that it's not only port wine, but as well Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso sherry and port wine mm. sherry. But the port wood, I think, is the finishing, and the others are probably refilled original maturation. Therefore, the mm. uh, the oak note might come from. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's it's really nice. It, it smells a little bit like an like an old wine cellar, old wine cask when you smell in it. A bit damp, but very, very fruity and very good berries character. Berries is really the dominant in here. The oak and yeah, that that connects well to the oak is a little, that little bit of a spicy or mm -hmm. whatever it is. Ginger character, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. cheers. First juicy and then extremely spicy. Mm. Incredible. As soon as you swallow, there's a spiciness going on on your tongue, spreading into your mouth. Very faint bitterness, but not, not a lot. And then a ginger aftertaste. Wow! Mm -hmm. Together with oranges, fruits, brambles, and but mm -hmm. the oakiness have been strong in this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Long, mm -hmm. staying, orange peel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a really fruity one. I had my always have mine a bit longer in my mouth, and you even get a little bit of spiciness when you have it longer in your mouth. There's a lot of fruitiness to it, a lot of berries, brambles, and that typical port wine flavor, very juicy, mm, combined with uh, a good amount of spiciness, but not a, a hot spiciness, but more of a, I don't know, what do you call that? that yeah, Long staying spiciness. Long staying spiciness, a little bit of, little bit of a, a bit of sweetness. Mm. It's strange that you have two words for for one uh, <laughs> one fruit in the English language, but in Germany you have two two words for spicy. Mm -hmm. You have the mm -hmm. the Würzig and the, and the Schaf, which is like a Schaf. chili, and the other one is like a, a umami mm. spicy, but not a, a, a hot spicy, but a spicy spicy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, so the the spiciness in the aftertaste is there. And uh, here are our original tasting notes. Mm -hmm. Intense sherry wood with CH in mm -hmm. the front. <laughs> mm -hmm. Color, nose, breath in delight waves of Victoria, plum, bramble, and strawberry gem. With top notes of sherry blossom and honeysuckle on a base of sandalwood and ginger. Palette, layers upon layers of rich fruits. Sip blackberry and roasted apple, crumble with freshly baked gingerbread, freshly baked gingerbread. Yeah, there's this malt in mm -hmm. it, developing into a baked orange and black sherry back note. Finish savor orange peel, sultana and sherry cake, lingering into the rich fruity finish. Uh, they omitted mm -hmm. <laughs> the spiciness in the aftertaste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that? Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> honey means honey. This may be maybe honey candy? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Never heard that word. <laughs> yeah, very good. Mm, I, lo I love it. It's a, a really good uh, whiskey and I think we will see that again. Mm -hmm. uh, probably, if if we get a lot of other good whiskies, then <laughs> maybe not. But otherwise, yeah, we'll probably see it again. Yeah, if you like this video, then please feel free to give, a thum give us a thumbs up and have a look. If you can find this whiskey, this is a, a really a must buy if you see it. So thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.